Summertime may be in full swing, but the Great Falls Public School District is hard at work getting ready for the upcoming academic year. I had a chance to talk with district leadership about the hiring process of district personnel both in and out of the classroom and how that's going. I think education has its ebbs and flows of, of cycles in regards to people that want to become teachers uh, one way or the other. and. I think right now we're in a down cycle. I'm As of Monday, the Great Falls Public School District has about a half dozen elementary teaching positions open, six to eight special ed teacher openings, and several other content-specific secondary education positions. Numbers Administrator Lance Boyd says are typical for this time of year. Great Falls isn't the only district in need of teachers and other personnel, and Boyd says when it comes to attracting them, housing is the biggest challenge. For us right now, our biggest, our biggest thing that we're, we struggle with is trying to find affordable housing uh, for staff coming in, whether that's a speech pathologist or a first-year teacher, uh, trying to find something that a single person could move into, uh, or a small family or a large family. Is, is just a struggle at times. The district is also in need of 30 to 40 teacher aides, 25 to 35 paraeducators, and a number of other support staff. They hope to fill some of those numbers August 21st during a job fair from 11 to 1 at Paris Gibson Education Center. That is really an opportunity for people that are looking for a support role in our schools, whether that's a custodian, a food service worker, a paraeducator, a teacher's aide. Uh, an overload teacher aide to come and put their application in and get interviewed that same day uh, and be offered a position where where they best possibly fit inside of our district. One area where the district is fully staffed is at the new core school at Morningside Elementary. It features an immersive teacher preparation program in partnership with UM Western and Great Falls College. I think anytime you look at having workforce shortages, it's your job and responsibility to get innovative and look at other ways to, to recruit into the field and the core school at Morningside is one of those ways uh, to be able to do that. We're fully staffed with our teaching staff there. The first day of school is August 28th. Staff reports August 26th, and school buildings open up for registration on August 14th. With the return to school, public schools do require certain vaccinations and sports physicals. So mark your calendar. CCHD and the Great Falls Clinic are holding a back-to-school clinic on Wednesday, August 7th. All physicals will be free. Blue Cross Blue Shield Care Van has offered to cover the full cost. CCHD will provide immunizations. You're asked to bring your child's shot records and insurance card. And if you don't have insurance, costs will be covered by Caravan. The clinic runs from 9 to 2.